Most expensive items stolen. Most expensive items that totally disappeared. 1. Fabergé eggs. In the past 100 years, Russia has undergone two major political changes, with the most recent being the transition from the Soviet Union to modern-day Russia. But before the country was a communist superpower, it was known as the Russian Empire, which was ruled over by its own monarchy and royal family. In 1917, the people of Russia overthrew the monarchy in what is known as the Bolshevik Revolution, a revolution that basically saw the entirety of the royal family killed, and the palace ransacked. Some of the things which were ultimately stolen, included a collection of Fabergé eggs, which at the time were valued at about $1 million each. This collection, which was created by Peter Carl Fabergé, consisted of 52 eggs, of which 8 have still not resurfaced since the revolution, but all the other eggs however, have either been bought by wealthy art collectors, or reside within the Kremlin. 2 T-Rex Bones Over 65 million years ago, the Tyrannosaurus was one of our world's apex predators, and thanks primarily to blockbuster movies like Jurassic Park, many of us have grown up with some form of genuine interest in this extinct animal. Like every species that has ever existed, there were also subspecies of the Tyrannosaurus, one of which roamed the terrain of what is now Asia, and which scientists have named the Tyrannosaurus batar, Tarbosaurus. This dinosaur was first discovered during an expedition in Mongolia in 1945, and during subsequent expeditions, a nearly complete skeleton was found, and its remains stayed relatively intact until 2012, when a Florida man managed to steal some of the bones. Eric Prokopi, was somehow able to smuggle some of the bones out of their Mongolian home and into the US thanks to some forged documents, and he went on to sell these bones to a Manhattan buyer for $1.1 million. 3. The Scream The world is filled with art, with some of the oldest known examples actually dating back all the way to the time of cavemen, in the form of cave drawings. Over the centuries though, the human race learned to use different surfaces to create art on, like the canvas, but we also learned and improved upon new art forms like painting. One of the world's most well-known and iconic paintings is known as The Scream, which depicts a turbulent landscape with an orange sky, and a figure with an agonized expression. This work was created by Edvard Munch, using both paint and pastels, but what many are unaware of, is the fact that he created four versions of the painting, including the tempera on cardboard version. In 1994, this version of The Scream was in Norway's National Gallery, before being stolen by armed robbers who then attempted to ransom the painting off for $1 million. Officially, the ransom was never met, but through unknown methods, the gallery recovered the piece two years later. 4. Ruby Slippers In 1939, Hollywood released The Wizard of Oz, and to this day, it is still considered to be one of the most commercially successful and iconic movies ever made. This film is filled with iconic characters like the Tin Man, and the Cowardly Lion, but it is also filled with iconic props and imagery like the Yellow Brick Road, the City of Oz, and even Dorothy's Ruby Red Slippers. In total, there were four pairs of these slippers used throughout filming, each of which were slightly different from one another, and one of these pairs can be found in the National Museum of American History, while another had been located in the Judy Garland Museum in Minnesota, until 2005. Someone stole the slippers from the museum, and to this day, they have not re-emerged, but wherever they are, the person who has them is sitting on a gold mine as they are worth somewhere between 2 and 3 million dollars. 5. A Stradivarius for thousands of years, music has been listened to and enjoyed by millions upon millions of people, and it has evolved greatly over the centuries, from the time it was produced by simply banging two rocks together, to animal skin drums, to classical instruments, and finally the electronic instruments used today. The classical era of music though, led to the creation of string instruments like cellos and violins, and of all the manufacturers of string instruments, Stradivarius is renowned for making the best and most expensive known to man. In 1727, Stradivarius made a violin that eventually went on to be used by a famous violinist named Erica Morini, but one day, someone broke into her New York apartment and stole it. Morini has since passed away, but her violin has still not been recovered, and it is worth a pretty penny too, because its estimated value is between 3 and 3.5 million dollars. 6 Gold Bullion We have all probably watched at least one heist movie in our lives, and there are quite a few to pick from. Because of our fascination with wanting to see how a criminal will be able to outsmart their target, the police, and or their fellow criminals. In 1986, London experienced a heist of its own, which was like something out of a movie, as it involved a gang, an airport, and gold. As the story goes, a gang broke into one of Heathrow Airport's Brinks Mat warehouses, which are used to store highly valuable objects. Apparently, 
the gang's reason for breaking into the warehouse was to steal $3 million in British pounds, but while inside, they also happened to find about 3 tons of gold bullion, which at the time had an estimated value of 26 million pounds, over 34 million US. 7 Van Gogh Paintings There have been thousands of painters throughout history, but only a select handful of individuals have gone on to be considered a legendary painter. One such legend is Vincent van Gogh, a Dutch post-impressionist painter who produced over 800 oil paintings which included landscapes, still lifes, and self-portraits that were all marked by his signature colorful, impulsive and very expressive brushwork. He is so iconic, that just a single one of his paintings can be worth a small fortune, which is why two thieves went out of their way to steal two of his paintings from the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam. The paintings are known as View of the Sea at Scaveningen and Congregation leaving the Reformed Church in Noonan, and their combined value is estimated to be $30 million, and even though neither one was ever returned to the museum, the thieves were eventually caught and sent to jail. 8 Madonna of the Yarnwinder Leonardo da Vinci is considered to be one of the greatest minds to ever live, as he was an accomplished inventor, scientist, historian, engineer, architect, sculptor, and painter who has given and helped to provide the world with knowledge and artistic masterpieces. One such masterpiece, is the painting called Madonna of the Yarnwinder which prior to its theft in 2003, was located in Scotland in Drumlanrig Castle. That year, four men entered the castle posing as tourists, and when the opportunity finally arose, they made their way to the painting and each used an axe to remove it from its frame. 9. The Cellini Salt Cellar Whether it is at home or at a restaurant, or whether it is lunch or dinner, there is almost always at least one of two things present at every table, salt and pepper. Regardless of how good or bad someone's cooking is, everyone's taste buds are different, which is why we sometimes need to add some salt or pepper to give food more flavor, and they are usually placed into very easily distinguishable and non-expensive shakers. In the past though, some wealthy individuals thought it was a good idea to spend a lot of money in order to create a very expensive place to hold their salt and pepper, which is why the Cellini Salt Cellar exists. This gold sculpture, which stands at 10 inches high, was created for the King of France by Benvenuto Cellini sometime during the 1500s, and in 2003 someone stole this expensive salt and pepper holder from a museum in Vienna. This object has an estimated value of somewhere between 57 and 65 million dollars, which is why it was insured for a lot of money, and it is thanks to the robber trying to claim the ransom offered up by the insurance company, that the authorities were able to successfully recover it.